it's me again, Tony, and we're making pork chops. Right now I'm making some instant mashed potatoes for Sid for his lunch because he likes mashed potatoes with his pork chops. I don't eat potatoes because I'm on the keto diet, so I'll have to make a different side for myself, but we're going to fry up some pork chops. I'm going to get his potatoes done, and um, then we'll figure out a side for our pork chops. So I will be back with some pork chops and get them ready to get seasoned and thrown in the pan. All right, guys, we had someone come and interrupt our pork chop making. So here's where we're at. Um, we've got his mashed potatoes and gravy already made over here in his meal prep container. So I'll be making the pork chops and making my side. I'm going to make some broccoli with some cheese for my side. So I'm watching Jennifer Simmons on my phone and her beautiful hair. And I also got James Scott Guype over there on my laptop. Oh my gosh. I'm so. Okay, so what I am also using is some Montreal steak seasoning. I love this stuff, it's delicious. So we're just going to season up our pork chops pretty generously. So I like to give them a little pat. I'm not a lover of raw meat, so. I'm gonna use my little spatula here. And we're gonna flip them over and do the same thing to the other side. And this is just the simplest little fried pork chop, but they're so delicious and juicy. You don't get the super, super thick pork chops though. You wanna get like medium. You don't want like the breakfast chops, you know, the real super thin ones, unless that's what you like. Um, I will advise you if somebody's gonna be reheating these in the microwave, leave them a little under your normal done so that once they heat it in the microwave, it doesn't turn, you know, hard and rubbery. So, these will be getting reheated because it's my lunch tomorrow and Sid's lunch tomorrow. So, got our pepper on here. I'm going to get our steak seasoning on here. We're going to go ahead. We're going to throw some broccoli in the pot and put, let it cook, but... Um, I think everybody can steam broccoli. I don't think you need a tutorial on that. Okay, get our burner on. I'm gonna put it on medium high heat. We wanna let this pan get pretty hot. We're gonna get our olive oil in here. A couple tablespoons of olive oil. And this pan will fit the three pork chops, but just barely. So we're gonna be frying them in this skillet right here. Let's get a little closer to it. So we're gonna let that heat up and then I'll turn you back. Okay guys, our pan is smoking. So we are gonna get our pork chops in here. <clears throat> he's just over here plugging his, he's ready for his pork chop that he can't eat until tomorrow. He didn't use to, he used to always say he didn't really like pork chops, but now that I've been making them like this, and change to change the soon. So these are going to be loud, so I'm going to leave them on medium, medium, high. So I'll let them sear on both sides. So about three minutes, I'll flip them over and I'll come back. No, no need for you, no action here to miss, okay? We'll be back. All right, guys, it has been about four minutes. And we are going to flip our pork chops over. See how nice and crisp well done and seared on the outside. That's what we're looking for. That locks in all the juicy goodness. Like a puzzle piece. Fitting them all in here. Alright. Do the same thing to the other side. These are going to be some good pork chops. I'm about to get my broccoli all cut down. Got two little florets of broccoli here that I'm going to make for my side. Be delicious. Alright. I'll be back. Okay guys, here are our pork chops, succulent, juicy, and delicious. Check those out. Mm, 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 mm. Now for the keto people in the room, some heavy cream and a little bit of xanthan gum with this drippings, gravy, delicious gravy. 
Even throw some mushrooms in there. Mm -hmm. Can't do nothing wrong with that. We might do that. It might might be ambitious. That might happen. Right now we're gonna throw some broccoli in here. I'm gonna let these pork chops rest. I'm gonna stab them with the thermometer just to make sure that they are a good internal temperature. If for any reason they're not as done as I'd like them to be, I will throw them in the oven to finish them because they are cooked plenty on the outside. So we just have a little bit of broccoli here. I need to use it before Zane eats it all. He's been eating all my broccoli. So anyway guys, we're just gonna throw in here a little bit of water, throw the lid on, and I'll throw some cheese over the back, over the top of it. Just some shredded cheese while it's hot and let it melt. And we will have broccoli with cheese for our side dish. So, there we go. Broccoli's in, lid on the pan. We're gonna let it steam. Well, so guys, that's not fun. Ooh, that's not fun either. <laughs> All right, so that's our video for today. I, although I did give you a video from yesterday, but there's our delicious pork tops. You see a thumbnail in my future? Thumbnail. Anyway, some beautiful pork chops fried in the skillet, done perfection. Yummy for our tummy and healthy and delicious. If you're on keto, this is absolutely keto. You just need to make sure your side is keto friendly. So we're doing broccoli with mine. So it's got mashed potatoes and gravy. Everybody's happy. So if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and comment down below. More comments, the more fun. Guys, talk to me in the chat. I will be live. Um, everyone in their mama's live right now. So maybe just a little later. I'm not sure. I'm not staying up too late. But do all the YouTube things. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please do so. Hit that red button, hit the bell for all so you know when I upload a new video or when I go live. And to all my new friends, welcome to my channel and all my steady, thank you for being here. And I love you guys and I, as I say, and I always mean with a whole, whole heart. Thank you so much.